Oh, I got monument in my eye. I'm Drake McElroy, professional motorcycle dude, Red Bull X Fighters judge, and all around curious guy. With the Red Bull X Fighters World Tour, I get to go, you guessed it, all around the world. Would you pass up an opportunity to see the world on somebody else's dime? Rome, Italy, arguably the first city to have a million inhabitants in history, one of the greatest cities in the world to this day. Known for gladiators, emperors, popes, artisans, renaissance men, the Colosseum, Sistine Chapel, Vatican City, land of the moped, and home of Ducati. A society protective of the arts, and one of my favorites, Italian cuisine. It was five years ago that I was married in Florence, Italy, after which we vacationed in Rome, so this trip had some extra meaning for myself. First order of business was to get my job as an X-Fighters judge out of the way. For the first time in Rome, in the Stadio Flaminio, it is unbelievable. This stadium is packed to capacity. It was the first X-Fighters in Rome, and the crowd was really psyched. All the riders were doing gnarly stuff all night. Drake the Snake McElroy in the house. Danny, definitely the showman, not holding back. In the end, it was Spaniard Danny Torres deservedly taking the win. Danny oh! Torres has notched another one in the belt in Rome. Kicking off my trip with an exciting first night, I felt good about the day ahead. Hey! Are you in there, Drake? Hello. <laughs> Knocking for like five minutes. <laughs> like five minutes. <laughs> Do the math. NASCAR driver Brian Vickers had met up with us to partake in the day's activities. <laughs> me, man. You got me up at like nine o'clock. I damaged my throat and vocal cords last night, uh, yelling into the toilet when I got back from the after party. Our driver, who reminded me of Alfred from Batman, see, 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 see. took multitasking to a new level. Unfortunately, with all of the resources at his disposal, it still didn't keep him from getting us lost. We just found a golf course. It took forever. <laughs> we just was the most excited about coming golfing because he wanted to put on the costume. This is not good. All I heard about for like three days, oh, are we going golfing? Are we still going golfing? But I get this sad little like, Ransom note that looked like he wrote it with his left foot and slid it under my door this morning. I'm so sorry to inform you. I'm puking. 15 minutes later, he was knocking on my door, ready to go. Dressed like that. <laughs> All right, we're doing this with the Claudio Aqueduct Golf Course. It's Brian Vickers. He's an NASCAR dude. We found him sleeping in the van. <laughs> I played all right, man. I didn't top the ball two times in a row in front of everybody on the first tee box, like someone else may have. <laughs> what the? Oh, okay. I'm done. You can tell it was a good night. <laughs> Massive ancient Roman aqueduct background of the course, and that was super cool. Like, how can you play golf in Italy and it not be cool? This is sick. To think these were done nice thousands. Hit. Centuries ago, millennia ago. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, that hurts so bad. <laughs> it was white. <laughs> Had dimples in it. We got in nine holes of golf, and then uh, we were in Chetreveri. Sorry on the pronunciation of that one. <laughs> Hillary. Brian Vickers and myself headed to the cool little town of Cerveteri, a quaint town located in the northern part of the province of Rome, whose existence dates back as far as the 9th century BC. We indulged in some much needed grub and afterwards learned the fine art of making pasta. Really does it look for me? Use in your eyes. Does it? Yeah, I think it's my color. Mm. <laughs> what was that movie, American Pie? <laughs>
The Italian version might have been home <laughs> pasta. Tutta la farina viene dura, capito? Exactly. With our pasta teacher Tecula having patiently showed us the ropes, it was our turn to get elbows deep in noodles. Want it flat? Want it really flat? That lady would totally beat you at arm wrestling. <laughs> this is pretty impressive, actually. This is awesome. The real deal. It doesn't get any better. Oh, her eyebrows raised up. I don't think you're doing it right. Ah! <laughs> oh, we made an elephant's ear out of noodle batter. Might have some wide ones in there. The old Mallard's pasta. Oh, who cut that one? That's just, look at that. That's not Should we cut that again? When you jail, they're in gentle. We just got a pasta lesson from Tecla, the uh, pasta Jedi. She's been making pasta for 45 years and was completely unimpressed at my pasta skills. <laughs> Grazie mille. Arrivederci. Grazie. Arrivederci. Grazie. Basta, che sei tanto brutta, mi fa aprire. The observatory is most famous for its necropolis, so we decided to take a horse ride with Luciano. Luciano, oh, man. That's the yeah, Luciano. AKA the Italian Ricky Martin, to check them out. Whatever you do, don't let him think he's in charge. Make sure oh. he knows you're in charge. <laughs> We're good. You and I? You thought so? I think he's just not. It's my furry steed. He's got some sweet bangs. Leif Erickson, maybe? <laughs> Oh. It's gonna be kind of cool. Where's I haven't rode a horse before. I, I can figure it out. I watch a lot of westerns. No, I don't think you're fat. I think you're spelt. It goes with your bangs. <laughs> Mine's got a mind of its own, but what do you expect with something that has a mind of its own? The Necropolis. It's like some uh, dead city. The necropolis of Banditachia is the largest ancient necropolis in the Mediterranean area, with tombs dating from the 9th century BC all the way to the 3rd century AD. There are thousands of tombs here that are organized with a city-like plan, complete with streets, small squares, and neighborhoods. It's unfathomable how much old stuff there is here compared to what you would see back home in the States. All this giddy hopping along went straight to my brain. <laughs> The trail was sweet, man. I don't think horses would be this much fun to ride either. Me and the missus headed back to Rome for some dinner. By the time we got back to the city, the nightlife appeared to be in full swing. Hi, gang. It's dinner time. Alright, we're on this rooftop in Rome. This gentleman named Stefano's place. It's one of the coolest places I've been into as far as residence. It's got a 360 degree unobstructed view of basically Rome. I don't know how I got here. Uh, maybe I just reached a certain level of awesome. You know, you end up having a sweet meal cooked by these people that invite you to their home. It sounds kind of pompous, right? I'm sorry, but it's pretty sweet. <laughs> type of it's fish, it's called cannolicchi. It it's not a fish, it's like, um, uh, it's like seafood. It it's like mussels, but it's very long and thin. And you the country. And this is it. This is actually a small specimen. This is really good. This is a uh, smashed potato with oil and parsley. And the fish is a monkey fish. Monkey, monkey fish with uh, some uh, sort of uh, tomato sauce and oregano. Thanks again for the cooking. <laughs> Lovely meal. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> We've been getting fed by gracious Italian hosts for like three or four hours, full of wine, pasta, hors d'oeuvres, desserts, everything you can think of that was awesome. So I'm gonna go for a walk. After a day filled with pasta making, horseback riding through an ancient burial city, and one of the best meals I've ever had, it was good to unwind. Showed up in Bologna, scored a Ducati. Way rad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good turn. You want a slice? Do you like gladiator movies? I did.